What's up guys, what's going on? Boris T here and welcome to this new video. Today is a great one, because we are going to visit a Norwegian black metal label. But first my friend, let me introduce you the sponsor of today's video. Gothic. Gothic is an online jewelry outlet that makes high quality handmade jewelry at some of the best prices in the market. They have a huge collection of products that goes from necklaces, rings, bracelets and even earrings. Last time the guys sent me these awesome pieces but they were so kind to send me new product to, to show you guys. So this time we have a retro pirate stainless steel school, a growling dire wolf and a cracked stone texturing ring. Here we have the double chain bracelet and on the other wrist we have classic Classic wheat ear chain. For every item you buy, Gothic makes a donation to the charity Trees for the Future. So not only you are buying the cool stuff, but you are also helping to save the world. But good things doesn't finish here, because you have the chance to win a $50 voucher. The only thing you have to do is going to the website, following the link in the description down below, and post the name of your favorite product in the comment section. I'll personally choose the winner then and send your email to them and you will get your $50 voucher. Last but not least, for every stainless steel pieces that you buy, you get a 20% off using the discount code BORS20. Thanks Gothic for sponsoring this video. And now, now it's damn late, so we have to go. So now we are heading to Marius. How you feel about this day? Stressed because somebody didn't prepare it, even if he said he would. Shut up, it's waiter fault. Look at this. Every part of the world is this sunny, is it's beautiful. To do with the weather, Shut it's up! All about it's you. your fault. It's Norwegian what? fault. It's Norway fault. Somebody. Hey bitches. Hey bitches. Prepare. Hey, it's not my fault. <laughs> yes, him, it's my fault. I I'm asked sorry. you fifteen hundred times yesterday. Are you sure you prepared everything? Oh yeah, yeah. So, Marius, where we are going? We're going to Hellstein Productions, my office. Had an accidental loud fart. No, well, a friend of mine had a, a real accident where he actually sharded while doing squats. Oh no! <laughs> he shit himself? Yeah. That's bad. Well, at Stick least you can push yourself hard. I'm usually a good silent fart guy, but. Silent fart guy. So my point for this was that it can always get worse. Yep. Always. Guys, here we are. We are in Sapsprog, Schatzprog, Sapsprog, Schatzprog, and the label is just up there. Marius is already going. It's raining, so let's go. Here you can see the logo, Hellstein Productions. Get your ass inside. So guys, we are here with Paul, the owner of the label and his uh, partner Marius, and they will show us a little bit around. Yeah, welcome to the office. Let's start by going to our kitchen. This space here is where we produce our most valuable nutrients. Black coffee being the most important. You have some vinyls here. Yeah, everywhere. We changed offices uh, a couple of months ago, so we haven't fully gotten into it yet. Yeah. You, uh, you had an older office before? Yeah, a smaller one. But okay. then we decided to Come upgrade. On. This is our vinyl collection. This is your bands, right? Yeah. And here there's different uh, vinyls from other labels that they sell. We also do some like festival work where we travel to the festival and have stands and stuff like that. So it's nice to have a bit of selection. Not just like the only things we produce, but things we like, find interesting as well. What about the guitar? Oh, the guitar. This uh, is an old guitar I used uh, at a tour in Germany, which I got my hands on. Uh, thinking of 
creating a new tradition where we have like whenever we have artists or anyone like yourself visiting they can sign on it and just keep a tradition going over here we have our photo wall it's nothing special this is where usually you take pictures also of your bands or uh, artists of your roster? We haven't done so yet because we just moved, as I said, but uh, that's the plan that we're going to expand and uh, eventually do pictures and stuff here as well. And those are the bands on your roster, right? Yeah. So yeah, this is our sleeping couch. Whenever Paul gets yelled at by his <laughs> wife, he <laughs> sleeps here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't joke. Well, this is the big uh, big man's office. The boss. The big boss. Can you go inside, boss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> wow. That's a kind so of office exciting. I love to have. Like, it's a computer. Oh damn! Oh my god! You don't have any like sensitive tracks open here. Right <laughs> <now>? <laughs> this looks With fantastic. a view. And then you can see straight into the meeting room. It's oh, the smallest nice. meeting room in the world. <laughs> we tried to set a record, so that's why it's so small. And this here is my office with the extravagant view of all our mess. <laughs> I'm getting a new chair on Monday, so. I'm Quite happy with that. But this one looks pretty comfy. Let me yeah. try it. <laughs> you want to steal it now? Ah, oh, if you throw it. No, we're no. giving the, this chair to the new guy. I wasn't the new guy. <laughs> no. Aww. You, do, you don't get any chair. Get you back. get to sit on the floor. <laughs> Shit. This, this is our space for the new guy. So guys, this will be my new space. You'll see me working here <laughs> from now on. And then behind this shitty wall, we have all the mess we've collected all the mess and put it on one place we usually send uh, merch and cds and vinyls and stuff from our other storage in another country but uh, we also have some here that we sometimes send so more t-shirt of your bands yeah, here t-shirts and yeah. hoodies everything yeah you guys are uh, printing a lot of stuff to be a small uh, label cassettes you have vinyl cds t-shirts hoodies yeah, trying to do like the all-round approach but yeah, also we have all the, the crates here for when we're going out to festivals and stuff. So, Paul, please introduce uh, Hellstein Production. Yeah, Hellstein Production is an uh, extreme metal record label. For all practical purposes, it's actually a black metal record label, but we kept it uh, for extreme so that we can at least allow some, some stuff that's not purely black metal. But so far, it's mostly black metal. And how you started with it? How everything uh, started with the label? More or less randomly, <laughs> for, for random reasons, of course. I grew up uh, within the black metal scene, together with talented artists that released cool stuff in the 90s in this genre. But uh, I wasn't a musician myself, so always been interested in, in the scene and in black metal and been around with the guys, but never had a chance to actually do something myself. I did the magazine for some years, so that was cool, but Apart from that, this hasn't been too much. Now that I've established on every other front and I have the finances, then it was cool to try and give something back and, and be a part of the scene again. And what about your uh, partner, Marius? Yeah, Marius, you can introduce yourself. Yeah, well, my name is Marius. Thoroughly enjoy the, the music scene. I've been like yeah, working a lot with the, the live aspects and uh, like doing lighting and pyrotechnics and stuff for metal bands, usually. And I just happened to meet this guy at uh, a festival called Midgårdsblot and uh, things just developed from there. Yeah. I was just going to ask uh, how you guys met. So you basically met at a festival and then... Yeah, we, we were both sneaking into like the Viking area of, uh, of the festival uh, after like it wasn't allowed for normal people like us to, to go in there after a certain uh, time. <laughs> but we still met uh, pretty drunk inside there after Awesome. After the closing hours. You started to speak about uh, the label and stuff like that? Yeah, of course. Because, as Moe said, we had partied all night. So, I, of course, I boasted about <laughs> running the label. <laughs> and I think I told Marius to get in touch. And usually people don't, but Marius did. So we picked it up from there. I know that there's a famous band from uh, this town called uh, Ragnarok. What is your uh, relationship with them? Yeah, well, actually, I grew up with the guys. I've known them for all time. And of course, there have been different people in Ragnarok. Up, up through the time but at least Yonto uh, has been always in the band 
and it's his band and, and we're, we go way back. But we cooperate on other arenas and help each other out. He was actually part of Haron, which is another band on our roster. Perhaps in the future we'll do, do more stuff together. Didn't you uh, just give him some of the old office furniture? Yeah, he got an old chair. <laughs> <laughs> they were thrown out from, well not only them, but all the bands were thrown out from the old uh, place down at Borregård. So I had to find new places to rehearse. And then I was going to make uh, part of that rehearsal area as an office. So I gave him some stuff, yeah. What do you think is the next step you guys have to do to evolve the band and make it uh, grow? I think the the most important next step now for, for Hellstein and our roster and the bands is to, uh, to expand uh, the reach. Uh, of, of the label when it comes to attention in the market and promotion. So far we've been very focused on establishing the basis of everything so that when we start to scale it actually doesn't mean a lot of extra work. So I guess that's the most important next step, yes. But do you guys continue to focus on uh, just on Norwegian black metal or you intend to expand to other countries in the future? Well, hopefully we can expand. There are a lot of great ba great bands out there. So far, we've been trying to focus mostly in, in Norway, since that, that makes things easier. But uh, and also there's uh, there are some some advantages uh, for getting support and everything in Norway for bands that actually are in Norway. Norwegian government wants to promote that. So because a lot of people doesn't know, but um, if I'm correct, uh, Norwegian uh, state helps their own bands. Let's say. Not only metal, but in general, bands. Yeah, there are uh, there are plenty of great supporting arrangements that brings money into projects that you can define and apply for. Yeah, there are a lot of good stuff related to the yeah. culture of, of Norway. And of course, Norwegian black metal happens of to course. be a big culture thing in Norway. I see that you guys here print uh, whole formats available, like uh, cassettes, vinyls and CDs. You even have a lot of great stuff here in, the, in your in your office. Yeah. Could you maybe show us a couple of things that you guys have here? Yeah, well, you can start showing some of the releases that we've made. It's not too many, so we can just take a look at them. This is the first, second press we did of Doden, which is Malignant Band, uh, the drummer from Mork. This is the release from Ena. His first release that he did together with us. Eric is the name of this guy. And we're, as I said, working on the second release right now. This is the release from Mironoth. We did get banned for doing commercials on, on Facebook because of this one. So <laughs> crazy. That was a rough start. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great album. This is the album for the Caron guys, the local guys that uh, Jonto is playing drums of part of this material. And actually Malignant is singing and doing drums of a couple of songs on this one as well. So it's a combination of old and new material. Nice least. cover. It's the same artist that did the cover for, for one of Ragnarok's albums. A great artist. This is the Urvhedne release, which is their last album. They already released it on CD when I met the guys. I wanted to do it on vinyl as well. This is a painting that a local guy from Sauda has made. This is the 10-inch that EP that we did for Sarkom, Transform into Darkness. This is the last one that we did. This is the one that uh, I unboxed. It. Yeah, and it's in Norwegian splatter. <laughs> What impressed me most is that uh, you are a small label, but you really take care about uh, the quality of it. Because I was impressed that uh, all your vinyls, cassettes, CDs are well produced. One of the aspects that I bring into this, uh, and with the help of Marius also now. As I said, I already always wanted to do something within the genre and, and the black metal scene. So trying to add that, that look and feel about everything. Um, and also, of course, to begin with, when you don't have all the distribution and everything established, then you have to have something to offer that you actually can get paid for, so it makes sense in that, uh, so that way as well, I guess. Yeah, definitely, because uh, I've seen a lot of labels uh, try to save as much as money as they can when it comes to printing and stuff like that, but uh, all your material here is uh, high quality. I usually say that if something's worth doing, it's worth doing well. <laughs> so yeah, definitely. And trying to do everything as professional as, as we can, yeah. So, Paul, thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys succeed and uh, thanks again. Yeah, you too. So that was an experience, guys. Now back to Moss. <laughs> Do whatever you want, Silver man. Come on. Well, you wanted gold, you take so guys, gold. I'm starting you... kind of a tradition here. No, you're not starting a tradition. I'm the first one yeah, signing you it. You didn't start a tradition. No, I'm start. He started. I will just sign that. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I suck at signing and my signing. You're such a fragile little flower. I was wondering if that will work here is it? Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Or you want me to sign whatever I want? Whatever you want. Okay, yeah. let's put my name here up. The right, right is super big. Nobody else can write it. Okay. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Awesome. You practiced that, eh? Where is he? I've been here. <laughs> yeah, I actually practice a little bit on papers. This thing will go directly to eBay now. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha!